Hi, I'm Sam Lloyd, and we're going to do some restorative yoga today. The supported little bridge pose. We quite often see little bridge as an active pose in our Hatha yoga classes. We can use uh, blocks to support ourselves in Supta Baddha Konasana. Today we're going to use bolsters and a blanket, or a bolster and a blanket. This pose simulates um, shoulder stand in the neck and throat region of the body. So you can see I've made a platform that's similar to the height of my bolster here. This is for my feet. I'm going to lay myself down on my bolster so that the bottom tips of my shoulder blades are hooked on the edge of my bolster. Pressing my feet into the floor, I'm going to pivot my chest around the bottom tips of my shoulders blades until the tops of my shoulders come to the floor. Now if the shoulders are floating, if the tops of your shoulders are floating and they haven't come all the way down to the floor, then just push a little bit more with your feet until you're well connected through the tops of your shoulders. If you're not used to this pose and it's bothersome to the lower back, you're welcome to stay with your knees bent, your feet pressing into the floor. Otherwise, straighten your legs one at a time, resting your feet on the support, pressing through the heels and rolling the inner thighs down towards the bolster. Maintaining that action through the legs, then just relax the feet. So this pose introduces Jaladhara Bandha, or a chin lock, which has a profound effect on the thyroid and endocrine systems of the body. As the chest starts moving towards the chin, and the gaze is naturally brought towards the heart, there is a deep equanimity that starts to occur in the nervous system. This is a go-to pose if you're feeling blue or if your immune system needs a little boost. Minimum three minutes in these longer holds. Anywhere from five to ten if you have the time. Once you've settled in, remember you can bend your knees if this bothers your lower back. Once you've settled in with the sh tops of the shoulders grounded to the floor, relax your neck, your jaw, soften your face, and rest your tongue in the base of the mouth. These cues are repeated with every pose and within each pose because they're places that energy and tension start to gather unconsciously. Quite often through our day, we're holding energy and tension in those areas unconsciously. And it's easy for that tension to creep back in if we're not aware of it or if we've turned our awareness away from it. So every time I cue that, there's probably some tension to release. It's a good reminder that that needs to occur for you throughout your day that it's important to take time to focus on one or two cycles of breath throughout your day to release that muscular tension and dissipate some of the stress that builds up within the nervous system. Once you're feeling relaxed in this pose, Focus on the breath. Notice whether you are pressing the back of the head into the floor. If that's the case, if it feels like you want to put a blanket under the back of your head, your shoulders aren't grounded well enough, and you need to bend your knees, 
press your feet into the floor and push yourself over that bolster just enough to get more weight into your shoulders and less pressure into your head. Staying up to 10 minutes in this pose. If you're coming out with me now, deepen your breath for one cycle. And then bend your knees, place your feet on the floor. Pause here a moment, let the body readjust. And then to come out fully, you'll lead with your left arm coming across the body Use it to brace yourself as you roll off the bolster. Stay here for a moment. So Setu Bandha Sarvangasan can be used for Shavasana. If you feel like you still need to do Shavasana, you're welcome to remove all your supports and lay down in your regular position for Shavasana. But really, we've been in Shavasana pretty much this whole practice. Keeping your gaze heavy on the floor, use your hands to walk you back up to sitting. So if you feel like you still need a Shavasana, go ahead and do one there. But know that you've done a lot in the last few poses to uh, restore your body and bring some equanimity to the nervous system, to the breath system, and hopefully to your mind as well. We'll end with one Om. Sit tall, bring your hands into Namaste. Close your eyes. Inhale. Mm. Namaste.